Uh, hello everyone, I'm just showing you how to laminate the flashcards at home if you don't have a laminator. So here actually I'm using the laminating pouches. So these are from Kmart and it's around 100 in the pack. Uh, this pack is around uh, $12 I guess. So I got 100 uh, laminating pouches in this. And uh, these are the cards which I'll be showing to laminate now. So once you open each sheet, it'll be, it'll be like this. So if you could see here, it's actually packed or sealed on one side. The other side will be open. So it's like this, like a, just like a folder. And now we, we need to just place the things in a proper way. So make sure you have space on all the four sides of the card. If you are making a card or any shape, just make sure that you have enough space on all the four sides. So the top anyway it's sealed so I'm just putting it through the edge and then this side if you can observe I have left some space so that it will seal properly and it will not have air bubbles inside. And this one goes here so every card will have a gap in between so that when you cut these things would not come out. I may not be able to fit in that one so I'm just taking the tiny pieces here. Uh, I'm just trying to utilize the complete sheet rather than wasting it for a little bit of amount. So try to occupy most of the things. Now I have the proper spacing given for everything here. So it may not be affecting the laminating lamination of each of these cards. So after you have done with arranging, you have to just close this. And now for laminating, I am using my normal uh, uh, ironing bed sheet. You can use your ironing board and place this laminating sheet on the ironing board but you also need one of the layer of any cloth which is medium thick you need to close that on the sheet and then start ironing it with the high heat the iron should be the iron box should be in high heat start from the top because you know it's already sealed start from there to downwards in one direction so that the air bubbles will slowly move you will not have any air bubble when you are just doing randomly it will have air bubbles so it's better to just use in one direction and make sure you are just giving little pressure on the iron box so that it will laminate well so this hardly took me two minutes to do so let's see how it is done so it's here but uh, still I could see the ends are fine but this end it's still not laminated well you could see here it's open so I will give one more go on this side so every time once you're done just check it if it's proper if it's not done yet you can just give one more go on that side just pressure give light pressure on the side where you have observed so that may give little more heat and now when I check yes so all these sides are laminated completely fine all good to go I can just cut this and use it for the flashcards but once you're done with your laminating once you're done with ironing it will be a little hot so you could feel that it is not so strong so leave it to dry for a certain time then it becomes little hard for you you can actually cut and use the flashcards thank you